Guys, welcome to this channel. My name is Alan Wallace. I'm a landscape astrophotographer and vlogger. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Benro Mark III tripod and I'm going to explain why I chose this setup as somebody who shoots a lot in the dark. So as you can see, this is not exactly a bedroom review. This is not an unboxing review. I've been using these tripods for a couple of years now. Now we're gonna start with the leg section. I'm a big fan of the Mark III series that Benro have. You get to choose the material, so either carbon fiber or aluminium. Carbon fiber is a bit more expensive, but it's a lot lighter. So I opted for carbon fiber. The other benefit of carbon fiber is that it doesn't get as cold as aluminium. So as someone who's out at night shooting in cold nights, you don't get that cold shock like you would from aluminium. Then you get to choose the leg thickness. I think there are three thicknesses. I went for the thickest one to get the maximum amount of stability. And there are two special cases why I chose the maximum stability option. The first is for using a star tracker, which is kind of heavy and it puts the camera off the pivoting point of the tripod. So you, it needs to be as stable as possible. The second case is when using the Sigma 150 to 600 mil lens, which I like to call the moon bazooka, because I only use it to photograph the moon. And again, it's a big heavy lens. And when you're shooting at 600 mil, especially if you're doing video, any slight shake will be easily visible in the video. So I wanted to have the maximum stability possible. Next, you get to choose how many leg sections, either three or four. I opted for three simply because it means that I have less twist locks to open and lock every time. I can set up quicker and I can pack my stuff down quicker if need be. If you go for four leg sections, the tripod is gonna be smaller and a bit more packable, so bear that in mind. Now, one of the things I really love about the leg section are the twist locks. It's nice and chunky, rubberized grips. They're really easy to grip onto and you can tighten them really easy. You really only need a quarter of a twist. It's literally a quarter of a turn to unlock, a quarter of a turn to lock, and that's seriously locked. So a quarter of a turn to unlock, and then a quarter of a turn to lock, and it's really locked. And one of the problems I had with tripods in the past is that you have to really screw the twist locks until you get a proper lock. And if you don't do it enough, the tripod begins to kind of creep as you start using your camera and that really used to frustrate me. I never have this problem with this tripod. It is literally quarter of a turn and it's just locked solid. After a couple of years of use, I can happily confirm that they are very dirt and grit resistant. I very rarely have had a problem with anything getting inside the twist locks and they're really easy to take off and clean. I should probably do that a bit more, but I just don't find that I need to take it apart and clean it that much. Um, so I'm really impressed with the, the dirt and grit resistance of the twist locks. Another feature I really appreciate is there's a bubble level on the leg section itself, not just the head, but on the leg section. Uh, when you're using a star tracker, it's quite important to get your tripod perfectly level. And if you haven't got one on the leg section, you're not gonna be able to know if you're level or not. So find that really useful. It's also beneficial in panoramas to make sure that your horizon stays straight. Now, something that kind of frustrated me with tripods I used in the past is that the legs don't stay out. If I pick the tripod up, the legs stay open. They stay exactly where I put them. If I close it halfway, it stays there. It stays locked. There's really good friction on the on the pivot of the leg. Whoop. Because the last thing I want is to pick up my tripod and the legs just collapse. And then you're having to spread the legs and set the tripod up. So I really like that feature. Only once has one of the legs come loose. And that was when I was out in the Dolomites and I literally spent a week outdoors. And it, we were talking about temperatures of 25 degrees C during the daytime and then minus seven, minus eight at night. So I think that sort of fluctuation of temperatures, the thermal expansion and contraction just loosened up one of the, the screws a little bit. But all Benno tripods come with a tool kit. So I simply tightened up the screw a little bit and it hasn't loosened up since. Now, as well as the tool kit, all Benno tripods come with a carry case, which I, I don't have on me now, but it's a very quality case. Um, with pockets on the outside. Not something I use personally. It's really nice that they offer that. And they also provide the tripods with spiked feet. 
Um, they come with every tripod and I think it's a really nice gesture from a company because a lot of other manufacturers out there will sell the spiked feet as optional extras and I think they're trying to push for higher profits. Ben will throw it in with all of their tripods, which is amazing really because they're, they're quite reasonably priced. The, the reason I first bought the Ben Row was because I walked into a shop, I tried one, I was impressed. And I was even more impressed when the guy told me the price. Like what you get for your money is really good. Now it comes with a center column. I don't find myself using it that much because the tripod's quite tall anyway but in use, it, it locks solid. I'm always skeptical about uh, extending columns because it kind of throws the moment force off and you're sort of susceptible to a bit of shake. But I found it to be incredibly sturdy and there's this great twist lock, a really nice low profile twist lock and it has these two notches for your thumb and finger so you can really tighten it up. Benro also throw in a short center column. This is included again. The only negative thing I can say about the short column is that it doesn't have a hook to hang your stuff. The big center column does have a hook to hang your bag or some extra weight, but it doesn't have one on the short column and you can't transfer this one over to the short column. And I spoke to the guys at Benro and asked them why this was. And they said that the whole point of a short column is so that you can get low to the ground. So you don't need to hang a bag. You can't hang a bag, which makes perfect sense. But um, for me, a short column is sometimes a little bit of weight saving when you're doing like an extra long hike and every gram counts. Sometimes it's nice to save a little bit of weight. So it's a small negative. Now the legs themselves actually open out to different angles. So that's one angle there. And they go lower again to there. So with the short column, you can really get nice and low to the ground nice and easily. That is a great feature of the tripod. Moving on to the ball head. I much prefer ball heads over pan heads. Pan heads are more suited for video. Ball heads just give you that ultimate freedom of composition. Benro have two main lines of, of ball heads. There's the B series and the V series. Now the B series is your classic triple action ball head. So you have three knobs, one for the horizontal panning, one for the 360 degree panning, and another knob for friction control. So it kind of makes the camera more difficult to move. The problem I had with these in the past is that I'm out shooting in the dark all the time. And when there's three knobs on the ball head, you're kind of not sure whether you're turning the friction control or the panning control. And then you have to turn your head torch on and fiddle about. The V series has two knobs. There's one small knob for the horizontal panning and there's one big knob for the 360 degree panning, but it has a friction control built into the knob. So you can set the amount of friction that you need for your camera and lens setup, and then you don't have to touch it again. And when I'm out in the dark and I want to adjust my composition, I can just find that big knob and lock it. And then the camera doesn't move because I've dialed the friction control in. I can adjust my composition and then re-lock the ball head into position. So I'm a big fan of that. This one in particular is the V3E. There's also the V0E, V1 and V2. They're all slightly different sizes and they all have different load capacities. So make sure to check the weight of your gear and any gear that you plan to buy in the future and buy the right load capacity for your kit. Now the tripod takes Arca Swiss plates, which are very common in photography. But there's one feature in particular I like about the Benro ball head that I haven't seen on other tripods and it's this little safety latch. So when you unscrew the Arca Swiss, your camera won't come out. You can't take your camera out. You have to pull the safety switch to finish the unscrewing. Then you can take your camera out. And this has saved my camera from falling a couple of times. That extra layer of security is a really great feature. I really like that. Now, one of the other things I like about the ball head is it has a panning dial. So if you're doing panoramas and you know how many degrees you need to turn your camera, for the next shot in the panorama, you can use the panning dial. And that is particularly useful in the dark when you can't see live view, you can't compose your shots in the dark. So when I'm doing a panorama, I can trust the panning dial and I can get through my panoramas nice and quickly. And I think that just about covers everything that I wanna talk about with this tripod. But if you guys have any other further questions, just get in touch and I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you think I should do more reviews in the future, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button because I've got some new vlogs coming out soon. And if you're going out to enjoy the night sky anytime soon, I wish you good luck 
and clear skies. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.